I'm Mary Kate McLean. I am a senior physics major and music minor here at Wright State. And I'm Michelle Connor, a senior physics major. I was a little intimidated by things that were far away. And so they all kind of had that going for them. And so what I actually did, I was such a nerd. I made an Excel spreadsheet and assigned <laughs> numerical values <laughs> to the different attributes of the schools. And Wright State came out on top. <laughs> my house, and this was actually the only college I've gone to out of my school. I chose physics because of my high school physics teacher, whose name is Charles Darling, and that's who I had my last semester out of high school. And I actually really liked his class. So when I, I've always been kind of a science kid. My favorite, I would get um, Magic School Bus and Bill Nye videos out of the library on VHS. <laughs> So now you can know exactly how old I am. <laughs> and my dad was an, an engineer, and he still is. But so he would always take, we would go to the theme park, and he would, you know, quiz me on physics concepts. And so I was, it's like the every time I took a new science, it was just cooler and cooler and cooler. And so I decided that I would go into physics. It was kind of the most difficult thing I thought I could get away with studying. <laughs> yeah. So I went with it. And it definitely was difficult, but it was worthwhile as well. But, I mean, I would say the challenges of physics are more intellectual than social. Mm -hmm. And if you have the drive, don't let being a woman stop you. Don't let being a man stop you either. I will be actually continuing at grad school uh, here at Wright State for electrical engineering. Um, I will be going to the University of Michigan to pursue a PhD in applied physics. I actually chose which school I was going to yesterday, and I'll be sending the email today. Uh, so currently, I am actually working at AFRL on uh, Wright, Wright Patterson Air Force Base. I'm working with the sensors directorate, so um, I go there about 20 hours a week, and I mostly take data and analyze it for characterizing semiconductors specifically zinc oxide, which is more well known for being in sunscreen than anything else. It is building and programming a BSM, which is a vibrating sample magnetometer, from basically scratch. There's a 600 pound electromagnet actually upstairs that is the base of the project. Mm -hmm. And the magnetometer, what it does is you have a sample that gets vibrated through a magnetic field and you're able to get data off of that sample to then plot and figure out the physical properties from that sample itself. I feel like people coming out of high school, especially if you're thinking about physics, I know I was that way. I am so early smart. I can do pretty much anything. And you are very smart, but so is everyone else. And eventually you learn that physics has an ego. It's true, but it's kind of a community ego. Because sometimes you'll know something and your classmate won't. And sometimes they'll know something and they'll be able to help you. And so you, you learn to lean on each other. And I think Wright State does a very good job of encouraging that and encouraging collaboration.